What's up guys, this is the Brave and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run up on last time, uh, the Mughal Empire attacked us in our colonies. So we are going to push back and defeat their army as it hits our shores. So without further ado, let us engage. We will teach them what it means to be colonised. We are the colonisers, not the colonisees. So should be fairly straightforward. The Mughals of the two Indian factions, the Mughals are generally seen as the weaker one. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really looked into tea. So let's set our artillery up somewhere on a nice hill. Come on, oh, it's getting into this weird problem again. Like right click, drag. Good. Okay. Set up a nice strong line. A militia on one flank with my pikes for support. Skirmishers and auxiliary on the other flank. Peter Hawthorne in the centre. So let's see where they deploy. Oh god, they're coming right at us. They absolutely hit the camel mercenaries. Oh no, they're not coming right for us. They're being silly billies. Who are these guys? Camel nomads, camel gunners, dervishes. Okay, so what I definitely want to do is push. Push on these flanks and probably actually fall back on this flank. So my rangers have engaged, camel gunners, native bowmen. Keep running, good, they've managed to actually About to say escape. It's about to say escape the cavalry. It looked like it had for a minute. Yeah, fair enough. Let's get my rangers out of there as well. Let's just preemptively call the retreat. I'm more than happy to let the camels run right, because at least it's keeping them occupied. So the Zemandari horsemen still being scamps. Yeah, like they're chasing <laughs> poor old rangers. Don't worry. This is why I'm bringing over my pikes. Let's get off square, see if I can provoke them to charge. It's even against so many Pikes, all the generals are dead. Good stuff. Okay, don't wanna move. Okay, let's do. Oh, good, our lines have met. If we can make the horsemen route, that would be perfect, especially as there are. I mean, it would be nice if you guys didn't engage the engage the camels, engage them. Okay, you form square, form square again. Throwing my pikes into the centre to hit the swordsmen. Let's drive my militia around the flank. They formed a loose square, so that should be enough to repel the camels. So it's good I forced my... Oh, sorry, I'm yanking on my microphone. There we go. So 
the sea quarries. Uh, actually, these dervishes are being nice and running around. The sea quarries are... They've not routed, but they've left. So let's leave our... Oh, they're bugged because they're not in formation. So, run back into formation. Let's keep my pikes being pikes. Camels have broke my square, but my pikes are going to roll up. There you go. Once they're dead, the horsemen will be next. Once they're dead, the horsemen are dead, and then it'll come onto the camels. My square may even shoot into the rear of these camel gunners. Once they've reloaded. Okay, so let's get my weak infantry unit out of there, and then just let my pikes have at it. Yeah, you thought you were doing so well against unarmed militiamen. Good stuff. It's coming out to know to hit. Good. Let's charge my pikes into Islamic swordsmen. Let's see if you sword and shield boys are good enough to stop a guy with a big pointy stick. Okay. Okay, let's start to straighten out this line. Good old pike boys. Let's get painting painting involved. Let's move this unit of militia up to start engaging the Sikh Musketeers. Oh yeah, here come the melee troops again. Seek warriors. These seek warriors are probably going to rout. Oh no, maybe not. Charge in. Bring my pikemen to bear. Okay, let's not forget about that square formation back in the trees. Let's get Peyton to chase down these Islamic swordsmen. God, the Sikh musketeers routed after like nothing. Well then, push up into the woods. Just stay back there for now. I should get both of you guys to engage the Sea Musketeers. Go get him, Peyton. Okay, get the pikes out back to safety. Okay, you. Let's get both my infantry units set up to engage the square. Good old militia. Artillery, focus on this entrenched unit back here. Come on, Peyton. Kill this unit. Some squares to holding strong. Not for long. Oh, good. <laughs> Sea Musketeers have broken to the north. Let's engage the lower unit of Sea Musketeers. It's probably going to be the morale of the artillery more than anything. 
Go on, Payne, go after the dervishes. You guys chase down the Sikh warriors. They've returned in square. They do not wish to be sliced and diced by my general. Like, these guys even... Well, this particular unit's freaking out. About something. They all are. I did wonder. I did think this guy's... This square's holding up much better than it should be against all this firepower. Good lads. There we go. That's more like it. Just have Adam. I've not got enough cavalry to chase down all possible enemies. You're not even on fire at will. The pikes have had a good old go against these guys. Speed up time a little bit because right now it's just. Let's bring these guys up. Oh no, they've routed. So let's push up my my line and my militia. Buildings are good. Let's just retarget my artillery. What is this? It's a house. It's more like a mill to me. Or mill conversion. There you go. Payton's got his extra ch chevron, so let's just call it call it there for the United Provinces. Not United Provinces, thirteen colonies. Make ready. And March. then chase them down March. some more. Yeah, they're, phew, they're pretty much Proud dead. What? Forward. March. Okay, everyone except the artillery. Okay, you can't chase them. Oh, that's so frustrating. Shouldn't be enough to capture anything, Sir. but it's still annoying that... Oh, like, even without the guns, just without... Just, just the infantry... Just a bunch of infantry. Can they chase them? They're closer, but that's it. Um, they won't escape. Let's hop over to Italy. Yeah, because this was the other problem the that we'll solve next turn. Is the Spanish think they can take Rome, and they just can't. We are building up a Venetian garrison. I want to move you west, but I think... Yeah, I'm creating a lot of good stuff, so I'm going to hit end turn. Oh, yep, so they have reinforced them. I mean, there are f f weaknesses. Uh, but whether or not I sally. Because I could sally. Which must to break the siege. But I probably definitely want to push this army that's in Venice west. But we are. Now I drove west, hit my land, before me the new Roman Empire. <laughs> She's selling out from up Louisiana, yes. They gave the odds to be um, quite good in their favour. So I couldn't really auto-resolve it. So let's... This should be the end of the Louisiana. Teach them for, to blockade my ports. Thanks. 
do this. I'll deploy these guys. I'll deploy horse stakes for now, then I'll stretch the line out. Let's put two cover on the left, one cover on the right, general in the center, boom. Go straight for their mortars. You're charging, you're just moving up. Because that will help expose wherever their line infantry is. Let's push this wing of infantry up. Because they're trying to redeploy. Bring, bring my other cavalry to bear. Let's charge straight into the bows. Then push push through onwards into the artillery. It's especially nice that their tribal auxiliary is firing into their... Good, they're all routing straight onto the tribal auxiliary. Where's my line? Drive out my line. Good, hold your own. These guys change target, smash into the bows. Yeah, these guys are getting shot in the back, so that's why they're super unhappy. You storm into the combat and help them out. You guys push up past this side of the combat. You always push up. Present. Okay, they've fallen. So pull, pull, push back. Come on, lads. Get into, get into gun position. Why are some of you left behind? Come on, drag their tribal auxiliary off of their horses. Let's get my colonial cav out of the way. Let's reform my line. You form square. Bring my general up because I want him, want him to try and get some some experience chevrons. So this cover I hit the native musketman. This square formation will probably make this tribal auxiliary route. Yep, there they go. Oh, damn, they've come back. Run the gauntlet, General. I've got a melee going on in the center, but they have hit my grenadiers. Actually, I don't bother chasing down that single unit. Let's run them up here, ready, start to pick out the stragglers. Let's 
I'm not going to die to my grenadiers. Charge them straight on into the native musketman auxiliary. Grenadiers charge. Same with the colonial line. Especially if they're going for my general. Let's give them someone else to worry about. And let's get my general in to get him some experience. Oh, my generals are wavering under the muskets of the Farlock Armed Citizenry, but once they get into combat... There we go. Such a brave man. Slaughtering fallen foes. I don't know if there's a, a quality of line infantry or if it's just numbers of kills that actually factors into these things. Oh, that's very bad. Very, very bad. Go for the colonial line just in case. So let's commit my other cavalry. May as well. So let's speed up time somewhat. Yep. And you hit the native musketman auxiliary. Good stuff. You may as well do something more useful than hit the irregulars or the garrison troops. Absolutely continue. Go to the go for Bowman Auxiliary because they're about to Come on lad. Let's just actually kill them this time. Could probably get more kills if I went for over here. But let's actually try and destroy a unit. No, they're going to escape. Damned blast. Let's also go after them. Just all of my cavalry. Go after native bowman auxiliary. Good stuff. At least we've bloodied the general. Got him his chevron. I think it should make him a bit more hardier to kill. Charge in. Swamp. Oh god. Cannon fire. That's decidedly unhealthy. Close. That wasn't close. Pah, I say. Awesome. Good win, though. It's okay, here come the Iroquois. Oh yeah, Moogles are just going to rout or raid their way along the continent. The scurvy dogs. Barbary states attack the Spanish. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct. Oh, the fishing port will help your population grow. Oh, it's up here. That's what you're on about. Okay, so we've finally knocked out the Mughals. Oh, hold on, let's try and maintain experience units. Good stuff. Yes, my lord. Let's bring my general up to meet you. Good stuff. Replenish, and then we can't recruit any line. I have to ship some more in from Cuba. Because I've picked both of these areas to be. Um, government or like to be civil positions. Um, okay, so I'm still at peace with France. Ooh, 
cotton plantation, don't mind if I do. Okay, let's hop up to Europe. So inside the fort I've got a bunch of line infantry. Ooh. What? I think I'll probably be tempted to do this Lord. first. Lord. I wish I do want. I wish I do want them on the flank. Immediately. Let's move. Because this garrison is now strong enough that I wouldn't I'd be Actually, you get your level one forts. So you're strong enough, I'd be happy to defend against anyone. You push on and hit Milan. Ooh. I might actually just garrison them and let them, if they want to attack me, I can draw them out. Because there's no, I can't really do a useful bridge battle. If I sat here, I'd be attacked on both sides. So if I do that, I'll force them to attack me. Shipyard's been built. Good. Yep, so the Austrians are grumpy, but they won't be able to withstand. Let's upgrade the vineyards. Rome still likes me, and they're being taxed. Venice likes me, and now they're being taxed. It's on to 25,000. It's pretty good. Okay, so what I want to do is this. their army. Let's sally out. We've got a whole bunch of them coming in on the flank immediately as well, or half of an army. Or well, maybe it's almost all of them coming in is devastating for them. Okay, so I don't know if what garrison, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, what, probably not many. New garrison line. Get one unit of garrison provincial line. Because we're sallying, there is no victory conditions we have to worry about. So let's just form a big old line. Cover on the flank. General on the flank. Oh wow, our reinforcing army is coming in right behind them. Okay, let's pull my general's bodyguard back a little bit, because that's pretty dangerous. Especially when there's pikes. It looks like they want to try and combine their forces, so the logical thing to do is to not let them. Though it's nice of them to not worry about our army over here. I really should have organised this better. Okay, my hussars go after the general's bodyguard. And this other general's bodyguard's about to get shot off his horse. Get my artillery out of there. Pikes have formed a rather pretty looking square. Let's engage my hussars. Sars are engaged. They finally realised that we are bad guys. Let's pull our general back a little bit and let's pivot this unit of line infantry to cover. So the main battle's going rather nicely. So it's just getting these cons getting my the infantry over here onto the field that I'm most concerned about.
so they're broken but not shattered. Let's curve the unit around. So we're also engaging their conscripts on the right. Okay, let's line up my infantry because their pikes are coming. Let's get my hussars and my general to start doing stuff to the rear of their formation. Like chasing down this, these sorts of units of militia. Chase them down with my cavalry here. Good. Good, so lots of good fire going on. Charge my cavalry in into the centre of their line to cause some trouble. Pikemen are trying to chase after them, but we both know, we all know, we're never, never going to let the pikes get into a spot to do trouble. Sound, the sound the swords make when they're slicing into people. Ooh. Could have missed some guys on the walls now, firing cannons, but take what you can get. Okay, you guys fall back to here. Engage these guys when they come up the crest of the hill. Retarget my reorientate my fusiliers as well. Okay, let's run you up. Pivot this line. Deploy my general to chase down these troops. I'm yanking the microphone again. Sorry, the cable runs down by my leg. Um, let's pull my cavalry back. The muskets have crested, the, the, the um, pikes have crested the hill right in full view of my infantry. Beautiful. Let's make these two units start to move more over here. Get my cavalry to keep charging them down wherever they find them. My pike's coming back. stuff, doing lots of damage to their conscripts. They're going to break, or they're going to flee the field, so spin around and attack this unit of militia. I mean, they're against my fusiliers as well, so that would have been a bit dodgy if they did get into combat. I'm 
Come on, lads. Do as much damage as you possibly can before they get off the field. Poor souls, your Spanish overlords left you to sent you to die against the the walls of Rome. Come on, there's five men. Five two. Come on, just get him. Just get this one guy. Got him. Okay, let's start to walk you guys back to the main the main event. Because my general does a pretty torrid job at trying to actually kill anyone. Although I suspect this is probably gonna be quite a good outcome in terms of losses. Yep, pikesman pikeman tried to come back against my fusiliers. Yep, and they're gone. Let's continue it. Smash all my cavalry in there as, as, as hard as I can. Even the cavalry that's knackered and I said I want to give them a break. There's no time! Smash straight into the main body of troops here. So they're going to route. They're going to leave the battlefield pretty quickly, but. Try to do as much damage as possible. Oh, and everyone's. There was all my general. He's the guy. It's going to hold this all up. run my cover again, even though they're all tired and very tired. I want to get them all past my infantry so I can just set them to, to attack, because right now the general is just being really dumb. So is this general bumping into all my men along the way. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. I'm trying to get through. Excuse me. Hi, right, there you go. There you go. Decisive victory. Damn right it was decisive. That's what you get, Spain. I'm not going to let that go. No way, Jose. There you go. We lost 366 men. They lost 2,800. Back you go. Immediately. Um, okay, so. Because we've got lots of troops to reinforce, let's do, the, let's do stuff to try and make my experience... Stay as high as possible. So let's just lump all these. Rank one chevrons together. Let's get rank two into the city. Let's rank one, rank one. Rank two, rank two. Ready for orders. Your orders, your majesty. Granville Wilson. Let's get Amadeus Crisp actually into this force. Granville. Uh, let's take the bulk of the strongest troops. Chase down Ildefonso Perez because we killed the general. Auto resolve. And then the garrison of Venice can send some men to finally kill them. Good. Spend what little money you can left on replenishing. So now Rome is safe with a small garrison. Naples is ours. And we have a stack, which may um, end up going east. You ask. Against Zagreb or even Vienna. What? Well, if I get Vienna, I'm opening myself up to a potential Polish war. Amadeus Crisp, steady under fire. 
mentioned in the dispatches. Common labourer, plus one command when besieging. It's got plus one morale, plus one morale, plus one command. Granville also got plus one command when besieging. And a superior general. Good old Amadeus Crisp. And he's 29, so he'll last quite a while. But, looking at the timer... Actually, before I do that... Actually, no, I wanted to wait, didn't I? I wanted to, I wanted to be attacked. Or... I think I do that. Rather than go east, I bring these guys west. One hits Milan, one hits Genoa, secures my western flank, and I try to get some sort of good relations with Savoy. I mean, they're unfriendly. I might actually try to get trade with the Pueblo nations. Um, no military access, but I will pay you. Oh, come on. Alliance and trade. No, I'm not going to give you military access. You'll use that to try and screw me over. But we do have two armies in the Americas and I'm not doing anything. So, what do we do with those? Well, one of them... Well, some of them have to stick around just to help guard my own territories. One might come back to the east. Because right now my main homeland is completely unprotected. Where did my rake go? I sent him down here, didn't I? Stop trying to kill Spanish troops. One of them will probably go, go towards defending my homeland. Another one will probably land a dagger straight in Mexico. See if I can make New Spain um, sue for peace. Which I'll try to go for Caracas, sue for peace, and then I'll go for New Mexico and sue for peace. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the 13 colonies. Cheers, guys.